Elvis for several months before he passed away, but uh, when I left him, he looked fine. I left him in uh, the beginning of December of 70, I guess, and then he died eight months later, and I didn't see him for those eight months. We spoke on the phone, but I didn't see him, and he really had deteriorated a lot. Now, here's a man who has everything in the world going for him. You know, he was the most gorgeous man, I think, physically, who ever lived. Uh, spiritually, he was sound, he was good, he was solid. Um, emotionally, he had a few problems. You know, he was still a little boy, never had an opportunity to, to fully grow up. He had people doing things for him so much. Um, but he, he, let him, he let himself go a lot. He, it, was, it was tragic. But when you live with someone as closely as, as we live together, for as long as we live together, you view them as a human entity. You have to live with the vulnerability, the human fallibility daily. And we were together so much because his work was perhaps an hour on stage and a few rehearsals. And the rest of the time, we were together. And even, you know, of course, during his shows, I was there. So you have to view the person that you're living with as a human soul, not as Elvis Presley on the marquee. You know, so it's a little disturbing to see, um, to see him viewed just totally as a commodity now. And, I, you know, I think about um, the humanness of the man. You can't change a 40-year-old You know, it's, it's not even fair to try. People change of their own accord. That's something I had to learn very early in life, that try as you, as you may, you, you really can't change another person. They have to do that for themselves. And all you can do is try to be a stabilizing force or some sort of positive influence on their life. And I think that I was in Elvis's life. I, I certainly tried as best I could to curb his improper eating habits and uh, to watch the sleeping medication that he took, sometimes too much of. As I said, it was difficult for me to fathom that, that he was gone, truly gone. And I, I, I reflect back to his lying in the coffin, and I saw him, and I know he's gone. Um, but it's, I, I guess it's difficult for people who didn't see him in a state of death uh, to, to fully realize that he is dead. They want to believe that he's off in the Bahamas somewhere, and I wish he were. I believe that Elvis lives on. I mean, certainly he lives on even in this world, in our memories. But I think that he is in another dimension. And it's comforting to me, before I go to sleep at night, to know within my own soul that wherever Elvis is now, he knows who truly loved him. He knows who had high regard. Those of us who had high regard for him as a human being, as a human entity, not as a commodity. And he knows that now. And that's comforting to me.